Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today we're looking at some new gameplay coming to Star Citizen Alpha 3.14 towards the end of June and beyond. But first, Star Citizen's Fleet Week starts Friday the 21st of May next week. It's going to be a big one. Expos, ship sales, javelin tours, the Bengal, new ships, free fly, the UE Navy flying around and much, much more. Make sure you get involved with that. You just need to have a Star Citizen account. You don't actually need to have bought anything at all to participate with that. Clan Imperium have been pushing open PTU patches for testing for this over the last couple of weeks. And it looks like it should be in a good state for the event. Maybe, hopefully, please CIG. Um, so yeah, there were some server problems, there were some instability problems, and they're obviously trying to get those solved, and they're making Star Citizen as playable and accessible as possible, while also looking pretty cool. Uh, we had a Inside Star Citizen though, Capacity for Battle, that looked at capacitors and operator modes. This is going to make a massive difference to combat and multi-crew gameplay in the near future. So let's start looking at capacitors. Lots of small decisions and reactions make up dogfights and combat in Star Citizen ship battles, and they are adding capacitor gameplay to further flesh this out. They don't want this gameplay to be too gamified. They want it to feel natural, it should make sense, it should be um, sort of adrenaline pumping and, and thrilling and fun, not just sort of like, I choose all of my equipment before the battle and that's it. Um, so there are some combat basics though. Yeah, obviously you are going to want to choose the right equipment for the right job. You can overclock your equipment and all that sort of stuff to give you a bit of a boost. And um, at the moment you can also sort of like move your shield power around a bit. But they want this to be a lot more dynamic and flavorful rather than all preset. Choices will matter while you're actually fighting much more. Keep your weapon on the target is going to be also now balanced with considering your maneuvering and power decisions. Enter capacitor gameplay. It represents an extra pool of energy that can be allocated to specific systems for a temporary period, giving boosts and benefits that will need to charge or recharge before they uh, are able to um, use that extra energy again. It will also have energy weapons working in this way too. You can't constantly fire them. You'll only be able to fire them every so often. If you hold the button down for too long, you're going to run out of the, the pew pews, basically, and then it will need to recharge before you can pew pew more. This adds a lot of strategic management to combat, potentially. At the moment, they're currently working on tuning fighters and combat for this feature. They're moving on to weapon balance and working out kill times next. It's going to be a feature that evolves over seven releases, though, and requires a lot of iteration. And hopefully it won't give us too many headaches while they're working on that iteration. It's possible the first iteration might be pretty solid and actually go, yes, this is, adds quite a lot to gameplay and to combat and makes sense, but it's also quite possible that it's missing something when it comes out. It looks like combat is moving away from attrition or long drawn out matches. They want maneuvering and sort of like World War II style dogfighting bursts of combat, bursts of firing when you've got kill shots at targets or um, being able to, to do significant damage to them um, when it comes to fighter v fighter dogfights anyway. You will see capacitor gameplay start to be added later this year and as I said it's going to be iterative. Player feedback for these systems is going to be key once it comes out so bear that in mind. Let's check out operator modes. This is going to give each seat or station on a ship more focused purpose but also portion out specific types of gameplay into certain systems or certain modes. It's going to expand out more to crew gameplay, making ships um, much more of a co-op experience. You could have a co-pilot scanning while the pilot is flying and navigating. Another station is operating a remote turret. You can have someone mining. You could have someone in control of missiles, and that's the one they're currently working on. They're adding operator modes while iterating on current ones. The missile operator mode is the new one that we should see in Alpha 3.14. It was held back from releasing 3.12, 3.13, because they wanted to have it in a better state for initial release, and they needed some core tech there. It will give you better access to use the missiles in certain situations. In a single seater craft, you'll now be able to toggle from conventional weapons to missile mode. You're not able to use both missiles and conventional weapons simultaneously anymore, although you obviously could fire a missile and switch back to your normal weapons, pew pew pew. Um, Multi-crew ships can have a crewman operating the missiles while the pilot or another seat fires the other weapons. So yes, if you've got multi-crew ship, you can have all these sort of um, operator modes um, portioned out to different people. This is going to give you um, more useful 
missile information when you're in missile operator mode and a more specific UI for that. You can easily choose what missiles you're using. You'll also be able to see the strength of your missile lock. This is going to help you work out your chances to hit and when to fire. You can lock and pre-select how many missiles you want to fire in a volley. And I'm assuming there are some restrictions to that. Obviously, there's um, missile uh, restrictions that are in at the moment, but they are doing a basic an overhaul of missiles at the same time. So some of the plans for missiles and missile operator modes might overwrite what we currently already have. So also, um, the 325A, for example, is supposed to have better um, locking with missiles, lock onto multiple targets, fire multiple missiles at multiple targets. Um, is that going to be system-based? Is that going to be ship-based? Is there there's some sort of targeting arrays for that? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Missiles have been reworked also to use the IFCS2 system. So missiles have fuel, this means they can be outrun and outmaneuvered, and missiles are now activate in three phases. Firstly, boost phase. The missile wants to get to top speed. Basically it's um, arming itself and going to top speed. Then it goes into intercept phase, which sort of like um, has it tracking and following the target. Once it gets close enough, it goes into terminal phase and basically puts the rest of its fuel and all its effort trying to impact the target. We've wanted improvements to missile gameplay for a long while. They've obviously done some sort of more hot fixes and bodge fixes in the um, shorter term, which have actually been reasonably good, in my opinion, at least um, to some degree, at solving missile spam. But having missiles separated out from conventional weapons to missiles, it's an interesting decision. I need to sort of see it in my hands before I have a more of an opinion on that. It could be really good. It might be a terrible idea. It certainly makes sense for multi-cruise ships, for sure. Yeah, um, have someone operating the missiles, especially when you're having like vehicles like the Ballista. Makes sense to have a missile operator mode on uh, something where you're specifically operating the missile turret. And it might make dogfighting, where you're having to choose between using missiles or not, uh, or, or conventional sort of weapons and maneuvering and all that sort of stuff with the capacitor gameplay as well. That might make it really pretty interesting that could work a lot a lot better and sort of have pretty interesting dynamic gameplay and you can sort of work out what your opponent's doing by the way they're moving and that you can see their lock on you and things like that i'm sort of quite looking forward to some of that um it might all be terrible in the first iteration of it might implode uh, but it might be great so um i think player feedback is so important for things like this so make sure you sort of talk about what you're thinking so far but remember, let's see what Cloud Imperium have got in store for us uh, with these additions before making sort of hard judgments. But what do you think? Will capacitor gameplay actually be fun and make combat better? Or is it going to be hell while they're implementing it? Does the game need to go in a different direction for certain gameplay? Or um, do you like certain parts of it already? Operator modes? Are they a multi-cruel dream or a management nightmare? Are missiles going to be benefiting from this or is it going to be hellish? Will Clan Imperium be ready for Star Citizen Alpha 3.13.1 and Fleet Week next week? What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Oh, what's this? I just found all your search history online. You filthy boy buying spaceships and going on ship hub. Zin, show a picture of a, like a sexy ship or something. You should have used NordVPN. It's a VPN, obviously, and it has my seal of approval because I chill for them. Use the links below to get a discount and help protect your data, identity, privacy, and to help with online accessibility. Every month we have a ship giveaway for May. It's for a Crusader Hercules Starlifter. It's a big boy cargo and ground vehicle transport ship that you can expect to be added to the game by the end of the month. Just comment on any of my videos made during the month to be in for a chance of winning that. Thank you so much to my channel members who have pressed the join button below my videos and my Patreons as well. Going the extra mile really, really helps the channel. Say thanks for helping the channels in. Thanks for helping the channels in. Consider becoming a channel member or Patreon as well, and maybe you'll get some poorly photoshopped naughty spaceship shots. Oh, saucy. Thanks for watching and all your support.